Christina Bell and I'm on a budget so I'm going to be creating a beautiful wall art for under $20. The first thing I'm going to be using is a quarter inch of plywood. Picked it up at the lumber yard for maybe about $3. Um, the second thing I'm going to be using is called white wood. My favorite thing, white wood. This costs under a dollar. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a piece of artwork. Now you can take any photo you like, anything that you find, and have it blown up. And what I did was I had a beautiful photograph that my brother, who loves to photograph, took of a close-up of concrete or a cement statue. And I, I fell in love right away with the texture of it and the colors in it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making the frame and I'm going to be mounting this on it. And it's going to come out nice. I know it is. You'll see. One of the first things I have to do is I have to paint this. It's not very attractive the way it is. So I'm going to paint it with some leftover paint that I have. It's a dark paint. You can use any paint you want. Get creative. As soon as I'm done, I'll be showing you how to mount the frame and we'll be good. All right, everything's painted. So what I did was I made a frame and I painted the outside because the inside's not going to be seen. And I attached the frame with screws. And I also used liquid nails to attach it to my plywood. Then what I did was I used finish nails along the top to attach the plywood to the frame. So it came out with a beautiful, clean frame. And I think it's going to look nice. All I have to do is mount my photo, and it's good. Just a little touch up. Oops, I got it all over the floor. All right, we're at the last step of the process. And all I have to do is mount my photo. Now I want to tell you a little bit something about it. We're at the last step of the process. All we need to do is mount the picture that I had blown up. You can shop around. I shopped around and I had mine done on poster paper and it cost me less than $12. Um, all we're going to need is contact cement. And what I did I prefer to be a little different. So instead of centering it, certainly you can center it. You just have to cut the wood to have a perfect frame. I prefer to be different and have my frame not centered. Okay, that leaves me room to let my brother sign. And it's going to look nice. Do is I'm going to take. You did it too soon. Go ahead. Okay. What I'm going to do is take two eyeballs and I'm going to attach them on the inside because I don't want it sticking out from the wall. I want it flush with the wall. So I'm going to take two eyeballs and just screw them in and run some wire and then I'm going to hang it. And I hope it looks good. I hope you like it. I know I will. Well, I did it. I created a personal. I knew I, wouldn't, I knew I would lose it there. Hold on. Well, I did it. I created a beautiful. What am I looking for? I don't know. Stop. Turn it off. Well, I did it. I created my wall art for under $20. And I like it. I like it a lot. It's unique. I hope you liked it.